What's up, internet? Kahit mabilis yung internet connection mo, kung pangit naman yung router mo, hindi mo magagamit, hindi mo mararamdaman, hindi mo mapapansin yung bilis ng internet connection. Yung dati kong router, Google Wi-Fi. And yung appeal nito, parang all-in-one router na siya, three-pack, and then one of them serves as the primary node, and tas yung natirang dalawa, kakabit dun sa primary node, tas pwede mo ikalat kahit saan dun sa area para mag-increase yung Wi-Fi coverage. And mukha siyang cute, pero actually, demonyo siya. So I got the three-pack, yung isa dun, si Rana. Completely, di ko mo na magamit. Yung isa, pasira na. How do I know na it's on the way to being completely destroyed? Pag nanonood ako ng Netflix videos, mukha silang mga 1980s cartoons, parang naka 480p, na degraded, na sobrang fuzzy. Paminsan, mabagal mag-load. Paminsan, ayaw talaga mag-load at all. Yung desktop ko, pag on ko ng desktop, hindi ako makasurf ka agad. Kasi, ewan ko, kailangan mag-warm up pa yung router, yung connection sa router or something. But once I start at the computer, Pagpasok ko sa browser, server not found for all sites. And you need you need to give it time, at least mga 5-10 minutes bago mag-stabilize yung connection. Tapos makasurf ka na. Tapos hindi dapat siya ganito kasi yung internet connection sa bahay, fiber, 75 Mbps. So medyo mabilis-bilis naman. And yet, even basic things like surfing, hindi ko magawa when I want them to. So at first, inisi ko yung problema yung ISP. Pero na-trace din namin eventually dito sa router. So, inis na inis ako dito sa Google Wi-Fi and buti na lang pinahiram kami ni Asus nung bago nilang router, yung RT-AX86U. This is not a sponsored video, pinahiram nila yung item but we are free to say what we want. And my honest opinion is, sobrang okay itong router na to. I, I, malulungkot ako pag uh, it's time na ibalik ko si RT-AX86U kay Asus and I would seriously consider buying one for myself. Kasi never ako babalik kay Google Wi-Fi. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. You aren't the man now, Admiral, yet. So first things first dito sa 86U, it's very easy to set up. Pa-plug in mo lang yung internet connection mo, and then plug in mo sa isang desktop, and then basically tuloy-tuloy na siya, automatic na siya. You just need to give basic information like ano gusto mong Wi-Fi name, ano yung Wi-Fi password, and the router will set things up. Si Google Wi-Fi, madali din i-set up, pero yung gamit mo kasi app, hindi mo pwede gamitin yung desktop. Yung next na gusto ko sa kanya, and ito talaga yung pinakamahalaga for a router, kayang-kaya niya yung multiple devices na connect at the same time. Basically, ano ba talaga yung router? Parang traffic cup lang yan sa, sa dulo ng isang highway. So, imagine mo yung mga data na pumapasok sa, compute, sa system mo, sa network mga data packets, parang mga sasakyan lang yan. They all come in from the highway, they all come in from the internet, tapos let's say yung isang data packet, um, yung isang data packet, naka-label yan na video streaming for Netflix, pupunta yan sa TV mo. And then yung isang data packet, ano, torrent download yan, pupunta sa desktop. And yung isa, music download, pupunta sa laptop. And then yung isa, ah, uh, Mobile gaming, pupunta sa mobile mo. So, ang dami daw yung traffic na pumapasok doon sa router. And yung primary job ng router is i-direct yung traffic. Okay, ikaw pupunta sa mobile, ikaw pupunta sa desktop, ikaw pupunta sa TV, ikaw pupunta sa NAS or sa network attached storage. Kung mahina or mabagal or lasing yung traffic cup mo, yung router mo, ma magugulo yung data na yan. Kahit sobrang bilis ng internet mo, hindi makapasok yung data nung tama hindi mo rin ma-appreciate or yung feeling mo as a user na mabagal yung internet even though mabilis naman siya. The whole point of a good router is kaya niya yung mabilis na internet connection tapos kaya niya i-distribute yung data na yon dun sa iba't ibang devices na nakakabit sa network. Si 86U, magaling yan na traffic cap. Sobrang okay siya mag-distribute ng data. That's what you're looking for in a good router. Sinubukan ko talaga siya i-stress test. Nagkabit ako ng malaking hard drive dun sa USB port sa router. Tapos, nag-play ako ng video from that hard drive. HD video, mga 2GB, 1 hour plus na movie. Tapos, pinaplay ko sa isang TV namin na may Wi-Fi connection. At the same time, nag-download ako ng torrent. At the same time, may nanonood ng Netflix na naka-HD. I think, parang pinagaming ko rin ata yung isang laptop. And in spite of all of those things, walang problema. Sobrang smooth ng connection dun sa TV, dun sa desktop, dun sa isa pang laptop. 
parang feel mo nga na ikaw lang gumagamit ng internet. Even though, yun nga, ang daming devices nakakonect and ang daming gumagamit ng network connection. In spite of that, kayang-kaya ni 86U na i-distribute yung data ng tama, kaya hindi mo napapansin na ang daming gumagamit sa network. For the average user, ito yung hinahanap mo. A router that can handle multiple devices at mabilis na internet connection. So, sobrang hats off ako sa AX86U. It really gets the job done. So, alam mo naman sa atin, kung may highway, definitely may mag-VIP dyan. May politiko or something, naka-police escort, and then gusto niya, ah, ako, walang traffic-traffic para sa akin. Tara, bilis, bilisan natin. Although, paminsan, may mga legitimate uh, VIP naman talaga. Yung mga emergency vehicles, mga ambulance, mga fire truck, parang ganon. Kung bumalik tayo dun sa analogy natin, pwede mo ring gawing VIP yung certain data packets mo or kung anong ginagawa mo sa internet, pwede mo i-prioritize. Para alam ni traffic cop router na, uy, ito, parating si Bossing, dapat siya mauna. So, let's say, gusto mo mauna lahat ng gaming data mo. Naglalaro ka online, gusto mo, you know, first-person shooter, kailangan sobrang bilis. So, you can tell the router na itong gaming data, unahin mo yan. So, una si gaming, pagkatapos si video, pagkatapos na si download. Itong si AX86U, you can set it to automatic. So may adaptive QoS siya or quality of service. Basically, si router na nagde-decide. Si bahala na kay traffic cop kung ano mauna. Sa tingin niya, ano yung pinaka-efficient, ano yung maganda. Although, you can also manually set it. Pwede mo i... Pwede ka gumawa ng priority list. So, yun nga. Let's say, gusto mo una download, pagkatapos streaming, pagkatapos... Uh, Pagkatapos gaming, pagkatapos noon online learning, things like that. You can set the QoS manually para makuha mo talaga yung performance na gusto mo dun sa ginagamit mong service sa internet. Kadugtong dun, may feature si Asus for mobile gaming. So, download mo lang yung app and then i-connect mo siya dito sa router mo. Tapos may button dun na pwede mo lang, you know, you just need to press the button tapos mapaprioritize yung mobile data. So, let's say naglalaro ka sa phone mo, and yun nga, gusto mo ng lahat ng bandwidth, lahat ng priority na sa mobile data, you can set it super easy dun sa ASUS app. Or yung ibang built-in priority systems, kung nakakabit daw sa LAN port, so yung physical LAN port, usually yung default naka-priority yan. And actually, mas gusto ko yun kasi usually naka-desktop ako. As a rule of thumb, I never use Wi-Fi for my own desktop kasi mas reliable pa rin yung wired LAN connection. So, I appreciate na itong si AX86U parang pag-plug-in mo dun sa hardwire or pag-plug-in mo ng LAN cable, yung default niya, yun yung naka-prioritize na device. Kung gamer ka, you can also load predefined gaming profiles. Kung baga yung mga network settings for those games, naka-save na, piliin mo lang within the app or within the router configuration, piliin mo lang yung game na gusto mo, and then yun maglo-load na lahat ng kailangan na network configuration. So, di mo na kailangan iset manually uh, for most popular games. May CSGO and things like that. So, yun, para mas madali yung buhay mo, you can tell the router ito yung configuration sa kailangan para wala nang problema pagdating sa game. Kapos na naman yung Wi-Fi coverage nitong router na to. Actually, medyo pareho lang yung coverage niya dun sa dalawang Google Pods. So, yung coverage ng dalawang Google Pods, medyo same lang dito. And that's not bad considering na yun nga magisa lang siya pero yung scope ng Wi-Fi niya medyo same coverage as two of the Google Wi-Fi pods. Mas maganda parin yung coverage ni Google Wi-Fi nung tatlong pods pa sila. But yun nga nasira yung isa, so I was down to two. And so not bad naman to si Asus. Uh, they claim it's for a large area home pero yung Sa amin, parang townhouse type siya. So, it's not really that large, pero maraming floors. So, medyo nahirapan siya to get past. It can go up one floor higher, but after that, medyo nahirapan na siya. Tsaka, dito kay Asus, AI mesh enabled siya. Or, you know, that's what Asus calls its mesh technology. Yung maganda sa mesh, pwede ka bumili ng additional devices. Tapos, parang ma-i-integrate siya sa network mo. Instead of the old-fashioned repeaters na kukuha siya ng Wi-Fi signal, tapos i-re-repeat lang niya, yung mesh parang magiging kasama talaga siya sa network. So, it's much easier to expand the coverage of your existing Wi-Fi network at mas stable yung data connections between them. Sobrang sakit sa ulo mga 10, 12 years ago nung 
sinusubukan ko yung mga repeaters na yan. Palaging nagda-down yung repeater, tapos di niya mahanap yung main wifi. Sobrang sakit sa ulo. Itong mga mesh networks ngayon, uh, they're much easier to use. And in fairness kay Google Wi-Fi, maganda rin naman yung mesh capabilities niya. Yun nga lang, yung main router capabilities, medyo bulok. Unfortunately, hindi ko na-test yung mesh capabilities ni AX86U kasi isa lang yung on-hand. I, I only had this one router available. And I did try to research ano yung mga cheapest na available ASUS na compatible dito. So that, inisip ko, bibili ako nitong AX86U, tapos bili ako nung isa pang AI mesh-enabled router para... Yun nga, mabuo ko ulit yung dati kong network coverage. Pero yung weird lang, may dalawang products na naisip ko, both from ASUS, pero hindi sila widely available. Yung isa yung RP-AX56, tapos yung isa yung RP-AC1900. Yung RP-AC1900, available siya sa Amazon, hindi ko mahanap locally. Tapos yung isa, si AX56, hindi ko talaga mahanap at all. Tapos mahal pa tong si 1900. So it's kind of weird for me na sayang eh kasi nag-enable ka na nung mesh network. Sana gawin ni ASOS mas available yung add-on products kumbaga pati yung mas mura sana yung presyo para bibili ka nung isang mahal na router kagaya nito tapos para pangdagdag na lang or to increase the coverage of your network you know you get one or two slightly you know medyo cheapy na AI mesh enabled uh, devices but yun nga Uh, right now, parang medyo mahirap makahanap pa and sana ASUS works on that. Punta naman tayo sa security. Uh, the router comes with a free lifetime subscription to the ASUS AI Protection Pro. So basically, parang real-time network monitoring siya. Parang is screen siya for viruses. Uh, it'll try to block any unauthorized access to the network. Kung may nagsisniff around for open IP ports and things like that. Uh, gawa siya ni Trend Micro, I think. And basically, yung feature na to, you know, i-set up mo lang, click mo lang yes, and then siya na bahala mag-set uh, nung protections niya. So, it's basically fire and forget. Bag na enable mo na, hindi mo na kailangan isipin. May mga parental controls din. The usual things, like, pwede mo i-block yung isang device, or pwede mo i-schedule lang na itong device na to, pwede lang mag-log on at certain times. You can also block certain websites and certain content. Alam ko nag-iuso to sa mga magulang, pero... Personally, I am a bit edgy about censoring what your kid can see on the internet. Um, ako, lumaki naman ako nung bago pa lang yung net and kung ano-ano talaga makita mo doon, mahanap mo, masurf mo. Uh, my parents didn't censor what I watched, what I read, what I surfed. And lumabas naman ako, okay ah. But if you're major concerned what your kid is surfing online, you do have the options through this router. Tapos, since uso nga yung work from home, a lot of us need to access our corporate VPNs, or yung mga virtual private networks through our devices. May feature din to si router na you can, you can configure it so that each device can log on directly to the VPN. Kung maga, I think it makes a pass-through through the fire, firewall settings or, you know, through the router settings para ma-enable mo na diretso na yung device na yon dun sa VPN na sinep mo. Dun sa look or sa aesthetics, and I bring it up kasi maraming natuwa dun sa look ni Google Wi-Fi. Cute siya, parang pwede sa living room, hindi siya very understated siya, pwede mo itago. Pag bumabalik ako dito sa full-featured router, parang sobrang ibang-iba siya. Although the, this is the standard ASUS router look, I mean, matagal na nilang design aesthetic to na very triangular, kind of uh, square, rectangle, slash triangle. Basically, it looks like an F-117 stealth fighter. Pero ironically, yung stealth fighter, ginawa yung triangle shape na yan para makatago siya, para stealthy siya. Pero pagdating sa router, pag it's all triangles, it's all sides, parang mas na mas napapansin mo. And some people don't like that. They feel it's like, oh, it looks so computery like kumpara na dun sa ibang designs like the Google Wi-Fi and it just sort of blends into the background. To be honest, I really don't care. So I, I don't mind the aesthetic at all. But if you're the type na ilalagay mo to sa living room or things like that, uh, you might want to keep that in mind. But again, it's it's just aesthetics and usually this will be right beside your ISP router because it needs to connect to the ISP router. Chances are, you can probably tuck it away somewhere in a home office and people won't notice it. 
You can also turn off the lights. May switch siya sa gilid para mabatay lahat ng ilaw. If you really just, you know, some people find all of the blinking lights and all of the computer doodads they have very distracting. So ito, simple lang, one touch and all the lights go off. Odo gumagana pa rin si router. Well, end with the specs. And ako personally, when I'm reviewing something, di ko masyado pinapansin yung specs kasi mas mahalaga for me yung quality of life ng user. Does the device really do what it says it does? Does it make your life easier? Is it easy to set up? Madali kasi ma maligaw sa specs na, oh, ito yung pinakamabilis. But sometimes yung pinakamabilis isn't the best for you. Or so what kung pinakamabilis? Di mo pala kailangan yung bilis na yun. So I tend not to obsess about the specs, but I know it's important to some people. So I'll try to give just the very basic specs. For one, ito si 86U, ano siya, uh, Wi-Fi 6 enabled. So ito yung pinakamabilis na Wi-Fi standard currently. It's the top of the line. It's the latest standard. So future-proof na siya. Sobrang konti lang ng devices actually na naka Wi-Fi 6 speeds ngayon. It's up to 5,700 Mbps in speeds, which is a ridiculous <laughs> amount of data transfer over Wi-Fi. And kung binili mo to si 86U, talagang future-proof ka na. Um, when the future devices down the line get Wi-Fi 6, itong router na to will be able to communicate with them at that super fast speed. It has a quad-core CPU at 1.8 gigahertz, and I guess kaya nakita mo kaya ang galing niya mag-traffic kape, eh. mabilis yung processor niya. Although to be fair, ito si Google Wi-Fi again. Uh, I keep comparing the Google Wi-Fi. Quad-core din siya. Eh. Hindi ko lang alam anong speed. Pero ang ang bulok talaga ng experience ko over time nagde-degrade yung performance si Google Wi-Fi. But itong si 86U sobrang snappy, and I I think that's in large part due to the processor and probably also the routing software that they have running underneath the hood. As with all routers, parang concrete and you know a lot of walls and rooms do tend to degrade the performance kahit dito. Although yung nga, yung coverage niya is equal to two Google Wi-Fi pods, so I think that's not bad. So it has four LAN ports, four antennas, one internal, three internal. It has a 2.5 gigabyte um, internet connection, and then the LAN connections are two gigabytes. So that's an insane amount of speed to be to be subjecting the router to. Dun sa mga tests namin, talagang kaya niya eh. Mabilis naman yung internet connection sa bahay. Again, 75 Mbps. And it distributes everything so well. Uh, yun nga, yung Netflix ko, di na, nags di na nagbabuffer. Di na siya mukhang 80s cartoon na sobrang labo. And, you know, it, it's just so nice when you open your computer and, uy, pwede na ako mag-surf ka agad. Di ko kailangan maghintay. And you don't need to worry na, nako, naka-anin na devices sa network. Yung laptop ni misis yung mobile ni mobile ko or yung mobile ng no, uh, anak ko so even with multiple devices this router handles everything very well and it distributes the internet pretty darn good uh, I had no problems with my gaming I had no problems streaming or other people could stream while I was gaming nobody complained the quality was still uh, HD uh, for both activities so talagang bottom line uh, I'm I really do have to say na nagpapasalamat ako Asus na pinahiram nila to. And kapag binalik ko na siya, baka I'll need to buy one for myself kasi I was really impressed with the router. So it was nice to go back to a full-fledged router. Actually, na-miss ko na pwede mo ikabit yung hard drive mo dun sa USB tapos i-share sa network. And everything just worked so well na yun nga, baka mapilitan akong I might end up buying this review unit for myself. Thanks for watching.